Thank you. Lovely. So, um, tēnā koutou. Um, so I'm speaking on behalf of myself and my family, um, where there's four of us living in Wigram, myself, my husband and two children. So I would just like to say from a personal perspective, I am less concerned about rates rises and more concerned about cuts, as the CAT Council provides a critical role in supporting the wellbeing of our, of our city. I am full support of cycleways. Last year I started cycling with my children, uh, part of the way to school, and the Quarrymen's Trail has enabled this to happen. However, until the Norwest Arc is completed, we cannot cycle all the way from home because it's simply not safe. I can understand that due to um, COVID-19, there can be delays for practical and logistical reasons. However, I do not want to see these projects pushed back due to cost. Yes, the roadworks by the cycleways are being put in are frustrating. However, long term, they are some of the best investments a council can make. Cycling takes cars off the road, it provides exercise and activity, and it reduces carbon emissions. I also support continued investment in parks and reserves, uh, biodiversity initiatives to restore habitat, uh, control pests, um, clean waterways, and long term thinking around climate change. I also don't want to see any cuts to services and facilities like libraries, pools, playgrounds, museum, art gallery and community spaces because they provide spaces for learning, culture, active play and just having fun. Uh, just this morning I booked swimming lessons uh, for my boys to resume next term. Uh, yesterday I booked for the STEAM program for the, at South Library, Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths for my, for my oldest boy. And this afternoon we are visiting the new Brighton Library and the new Puna Taimwana. The community outcomes you identified in the strategic plan define the city we want to live in. Don't lose sight of these long term goals into, for short term savings. They are more important than ever in times of crises. Um, my final point is I support the excess water charges. Um, and the reason I support that is I walk a lot around my neighbourhood, especially in the summer, walking my dog, and I see a great number of people watering their driveway. <laughs> I believe that uh, charges for water use would um, uh, encourage much more responsible use of this uh, precious tongue. So um, that's it from me. As my personal submission. No, me. Thank you very much indeed. Jake. Um, thanks for that. Hey, um, totally taking on board what you're saying about supporting the water charge. Do you, though, support uh, a difference in allocation based on property values? Um, I, I, I read into that. Um, what I do support is special consideration um, to large families who may live in poorer areas and who may actually genuinely need a large household allocation. But from what I could understand, the average um, allocation was seven bathfuls per household, and I think that is more than sufficient for the average household. But I do think there needs to be special consideration when there are large families living in poorer areas, and that's a, a special consideration. All right, thank you. And just drawing attention to the fact that there are exemptions available in the situation that I you described. That. Yeah. Great. All right, thanks very thank much you. indeed for the time taken around the two submissions today. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so 